This lesson will show how to create statements equivalent to a given implication. We're asked to rephrase the implication in equivalent ways. We are given the implication, if it is raining, then I use an umbrella. And let's go ahead and assume this implication is in the form of if P then Q. All the following statements are equivalent. If P then Q, if P comma Q, P is sufficient for Q, Q if P, Q when P, similarly Q whenever P, Q is necessary for P, a necessary condition for P is Q, Q unless not P, P implies Q, P only if Q, P is sufficient for Q, similarly P is a sufficient condition for Q, Q follows from P, next we have the contrapositive, which is if not Q, then not P, and then finally, if P, then Q is equivalent to not P or Q. And now going back to our example, let's write equivalent statements for if it is raining, then I use an umbrella. So first, if it is raining, I use an umbrella. Number two, it is raining is sufficient for me to use an umbrella. Number three, I use an umbrella if it is raining. Number four, I use an umbrella when it is raining. Similarly, number five, I use an umbrella whenever it is raining. Number six, I use an umbrella is necessary for it to be raining. Number seven, a necessary condition for it to be raining is that I used an umbrella. Number eight, I use an umbrella unless it is not raining. Number nine, it is raining implies I use an umbrella. Number 10, it is raining only if I use an umbrella. Number 11, it is raining is a sufficient condition for me to use an umbrella. Number 12, I use an umbrella follows from it is raining. Number 13, if I don't use an umbrella, then it is not raining. And finally, number 14, it is not raining or I use an umbrella. I hope you found this helpful.